again, I'm talking with Leonardo Di Filippis, and he is again the founder of St. Luke Productions, and telling us some uh, behind the scenes, a uh, little uh, insights into what was it that led to these different one man shows or one woman shows uh, covering lives of saints. And and I love the way that it maps out, right? So one of the things that I think about Leonardo is um, gifting, uh, you know, gifts are connected to mission, right? As God gifts, God calls. And and the Lord has right. gifted, gifted you with these, uh, with these theatrical talents and this willingness along with Patty to be able to push forward and say, we want to bring the the greatest of what the Lord has given to the church and these lives of saints and make them accessible through the gifting God has given us. And we're all called to do that, right? Each in our own way. And it's a, it's a rare thing. I don't think people realize how rare it is to be able to provide for a family through a nonprofit ministry to Catholics. Because you're not getting a check from the diocese. You're not getting a check from the parish. You are out in the vineyard of the Lord and you're laboring there and you're trusting that the Lord is going to provide as you honor him. And, and the Lord's obviously done that in your regard. And, and that's a beautiful thing, but it's, it's a very rare thing. So few, I, I meet so many, I've met so many young men through the years who are like, I'd love to do what you're doing. I'd love to make a life as a speaker, as a teacher, as a, as someone involved in ministry. And it's a great ideal when they're single, but as soon as they get married and they would love to have their wife stay home and they'd love to have a lot of children and they'd love to be able to maybe even own a home, all of a sudden you bump up against some serious limitations regarding the, the, the level of income that's associated with life in ministry. And so uh, what I've see what I see in you is a, a, a kind of a shining example of no, you know the the Lord will use your gifting, and He'll also provide for you through that gifting as you're serving Him. But it's not going to be easy. You know, you talked about spiritual attack. You talked about uh, being obedient and trusting, but also being practical and and discerning, like yes to this, no to this, and let's see the Lord provide signs of confirmation. You know. Very, it's a very powerful testimony that you're giving today, Leonardo, and I really appreciate that. Well, uh, I think you know, Tom. I think it, you. I think you're absolutely right, and I think what it is is you. We have to take risks for the gospel, and uh, and once you step out, uh, God will uh, take care. You don't know. You're right. You know, even in the church ministry, uh, you know, like you say, if you, even if you're given a check from the church or anything, you still don't know. You have to make sacrifices. Obviously, how can I afford? like a Catholic school teacher. How can you make enough money to support a family uh, in you know, teaching fourth grade or something of that nature? Well, it's, I want to say a, something. You said something so striking. You just said you have to take risks on behalf of the gospel. Right. Well, the answer is you don't. Most people really, if you ask them, show me in your life where you have taken a risk on behalf of the gospel, where have you risked something significant on behalf of your Catholic faith? I don't think that many people are going to have a, a, a big testimony about where they have risked reputation, financial security, uh, direction of life, um, where they live. Um, you know, the, risking is not easy. But I, it seems to me, my feeling is that we are coming into a time where even courageous risks, significant risks, where there's a lot at stake, is going to become the norm if you are to follow God's call. That's, that's a big statement. Now, you've lived your life taking risks on behalf of the gospel. How does that strike you? Well, I think you're absolutely you're right, because I'm in a unique situation. Uh, you know, it's kind of like who, you know, who's on my board of directors, so to speak. Uh, you know, who tells me what to do as a nonprofit? Well, in my case, I have the saints. I've got John Vianney telling me what to do. I've got Maximilian Kolbe. I've got St. Therese of Lisieux. You know, when I'm having doubts or anything, what does Faustina say to me? You got to trust. You know, so 
I have that kind of level. Whereas if you're working for Amazon or Microsoft or something, you've got other people telling you what to do and they're your examples. Uh, in my case, I, and, and, and that should be true. You know, obviously if you're a priest in a parish, you know, that's your example. It's Jesus and it's the saints. So Jesus tells you what to do and how to live and what, how to act. But I think, I think our, my thing is just an icon, if you were to say, uh, a window to heaven, a lifestyle that hopefully invites other people, you know, in daily life, be it if you're a farmer or if you're an executive, uh, whatever place you are, you're a cowboy or you're a housewife, you know, that you can take a bit, a tiny bit, a slice uh, and 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 try to live that part in your life to be a witness, uh, not to be afraid. Meaning, I think you're right. We're going into a difficult time right now. We can see it. I mean, we see the uh, you know the econo economy is kind of imploding. We see crime. We see the moral decay. Uh, now, none of this is new in history. All you have to do is read the Bible and see how bad it is. You know, you got every sin under the sun. It's X-rated, in fact. You know, uh, and yet God is merciful and he's coming back and is faithful to us, right? He's patient. So I think that's by me doing the saints, it allows people when they see them or experience them, be it you or anybody else, they go, okay, I've got to try to hang in there. I've got to try to be faithful to my wife so my marriage doesn't fall apart. I've got to be faithful to my kids so they don't, they have some parent in their life, grandparent in their life. So I think they're seeds. It's like St. Therese says, I want to be a saint, but I feel so helpless. Mm. And I think, you know, that, you know, the housewife who just cooking, taking care of a whole bunch of kids. I mean, you you know, is it harder to watch kids or just work at a computer? You tell me. So it's much easier to work at the computer and go to the office than to watch a bunch of little kids, right? right. Or to raise teenagers, right? That's a challenge. So uh, these are huge tasks and I'm just there to encourage everyone and be the priest themselves. Many priests sometimes are ready to give up or a seminarian is he's ready to quit the seminary. And he all of a sudden sees John Vianney mm -hmm. and how steadfast he is or a father Tolton, Augustus Tolton. He says, I can't quit. I can't quit now. I have an example in front of me. And so I think, you know, everybody's got some hero. You probably have too. somebody uh it could be a father father-in-law could be a friend uh you know could be a, a, a type of person like mother Teresa, uh you know that makes you kind of stay awake mm -hmm. and i think that's what uh but it is a risk i mean not everybody's called and as saint paul says not everybody's going to run around the mediterranean uh you know in shipwrecks and everything like that you know doing all these crazy things like i look back we did saint therese the movie it was such a risk. We had no money, you know, and we got it into the movie theaters and it almost destroyed our ministry. It's almost like the devil said, you know, and then we had to go back to the little way again. So, uh, you know, we're not like uh, movie stars or or like people have lots of fame is so fleeting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last. Yeah. What's the most important thing is preparing, as you know, uh, it says Jesus's first lines in the, all of of the world was repent the kingdom of heaven is at hand the kingdom of god is at hand repent meaning to change change and uh and so i think you know amen yeah 